long, hot journey here. I see we have board members, faculty representatives, cabinet members, everybody's waiting for an announcement, which I'm about to get. Tell you, go on these long walks, you get tired. Especially when you're carrying a big bag of cars. <laughs> Welcome to the start of the 130th academic year since Jamestown was founded in 1883 by Presbyterian settlers in North Dakota. One of the benefits of life at Jamestown College is that each fall brings with it a sense of renewal and a chance for each of us individually and as an institution to grow and flourish in new directions. We have seen steady progress at Jamestown College through many years. And our strategic plan is now providing direction for the journey forward. Along the way, we have encountered both benchmark events and new opportunities. Among the most significant encounters that I have noted recently are the following. The number and level of our degree programs is growing and becoming more complex with online masters and doctor of physical therapy degrees being the most recent additions to what has traditionally been a baccalaureate institution. Enrollment on the, in the college is on the increase this year as we matriculate the largest freshman class to enter the college in the last five years and we will enjoy an overall enrollment increase in the six to seven percent range this fall our total will now be at a thousand students most of whom live here on our residential campus with us the student body is more diverse than ever, with a growing percentage of students of color and international students. Over the summer, just these past two months, we have developed three new relationships. One in the Middle East, one with the Congo, and one in China. We have opened our first campus operation in a separate location in Fargo. The Doctor of Physical Therapy program takes our offerings to a new level as we grow beyond the physical environments of our home campus. The campus itself has benefited from some $24 million in expenditures for new remodeled buildings and technology upgrades over the past 10 years. The campus has become one of North Dakota's most beautiful attractions. There is no campus in this state that can compare. And we are not done. The Board of Trustees recently approved a concept for a major new suite style dormitory for upper class students that we will build in the next one to two years and which will bring that total investment up closer to 30 million dollars as we travel together in search of the next challenge and the next benchmark along the journey i sometimes get frustrated because the road is not always well marked. For example, have you ever noticed 
that the campus has only one named street. College Point. We have unnamed intersecting streets, but only one named street. Why aren't there any named cross streets? And I have another problem, which I'm going to reach into my bag for. students. We've had students in our own online course during the regular semester, 
We offer online study opportunities in the interim period between semesters. And this last summer, our summer school had a majority of its students enrolled in online courses. We are multiplying the means by which we teach our students. During the last five years, we've had more than 100 students from Korea on our campus. We have welcomed other international students from more than 30 countries around the world. And in this last academic year alone, we sent our own students to China, Costa Rica, Denmark, Kenya, Korea, Malawi, and Vietnam. We are reaching out to an increasingly international community. What is in a name? Our successes of the past and our dreams for the future do not depend on the label that we put on them. But in a world of increasing competition, a new name is recognition of the long-standing vocabulary of the international community, which describes all higher education with the term university. A new name is a recognition of the changing environment and nomenclature within higher education in our own country. But most importantly, our new name is a recognition both of the growth that we have already experienced and the exciting possibilities that lie before us. And it is a reminder of the challenge to hold on to the best of our past and to reach out with energy and vision to an ever-changing future. I would now like to introduce our Vice President for Advancement and Business Affairs, Holly Peterson. North Dakota Prairies became a reality. Jamestown College has been a community committed to educational excellence. Framed by a mission that demonstrates our commitment to developing students of character, nearly 130 years later, Jamestown College remains a community dedicated to the development of wholeness in our students. It is through a unique combination of caring and committed faculty and staff and an academic curriculum uniquely designed to balance the ideals of a liberal arts tradition with some professional preparation within a Christian atmosphere that our students learn self-discipline, responsibility, and academic integrity. And as these students graduate and become alumni, their success has become our tradition. In the past 130 years, our community has grown to include over 10,000 alumni who have graced the hall of what was once a single building to over 500,000 square feet of residence halls, classroom buildings, and student spaces. Throughout our history, the college's leadership has made courageous decisions based on a disciplined examination of the educational landscape of our region and the educational and professional needs of our students. Such leadership has resulted in the state's first four-year teaching program business and commerce degree, and a nursing degree. Cautious about emerging trends in online education, Jamestown College remained resolute in our commitment to its residential liberal arts roots and only recently began offering online education in a way that would honor and expand this tradition. With the addition of a graduate program in education and an exciting doctoral program in physical therapy, the college is deservedly poised to assume the name University of Jamestown, and our alumni couldn't be proud. In anticipation of this decision, we reached out to countless alumni and friends throughout the past year through phone conversations, surveys, and personal visits. To a person, the alumni are committed to the success of our great college and have expressed their deep pride in the direction the college has taken in the past 10 years. They are excited about the future of our, of our college and know that all that makes Jamestown great 
are only reinforced through this decision, and they are extremely supportive of our move to the university status. The founders of Jamestown College believed in the pursuit of truth and knowledge through education, and those who followed were entrusted with the responsibility to nourish their dream and let it grow. Today's announcement is a compliment to their courageous leadership and the supportive and successful alumni who have made this day a reality. At this time, I'd like to introduce Scott Gotham, the Vice President for Enrollment Management.
she has experienced this institution as a student, as an instructor, and as, as a leader on campus. So thank you for being here with us for this special day.